Right. Let's try to understand here as to how a relay, electromagnetic relay, is driven by various means so as to achieve its function. This relay has a coil resistance of 240 ohms. We have deliberately collected some meters, some ammeters and some voltmeters to see its uh, function as far as the functioning of this particular transistor is concerned. We have taken a BC548 and uh, some switching arrangement, switch arrangements here. This is the base current, this is the load current and we have a diode as usual connected across the relay coil so that when the relay switches off the back EMF is short circuited by this matter or the energy which is stored this side becomes positive the current flows this way and the that takes away the charge which is stored in the inductor in the process it saves the transistor otherwise the transistor might get sometimes damaged now what we find here once we operate this circuit what we find that the base current is about 0.38 milliamperes and collector current is around 46 milliamperes or we can even increase this and to see now at around say 40 or 46 around 46 what we find it's about uh, 100 times this 0.46 this is 46 milliamperes about 100 times is because the transistor this particular transistor has a gain that is HFE we call it of 100 and of course the current is limited by the resistance here this resistance is 240 ohms and 12.6 uh, volts minus this volt which is dropped across this transistor so about say roughly 12.6 minus 1.6 about say 11 volts is available here across the relay so as to divided by that particular resistance we find this much is the current here the voltage is across this transistor is an important factor that we have to notice because this voltage is called the V saturation voltage and this is responsible for heating of the transistor also. Let's see how the transistor is power is dissipated across this transistor. Now if we see that it is 46 milliamperes is the collector current or the current which is flowing in the transistor and the voltage is into say 1.53 what we notice is that around 70 milliwatts are lost in this transistor 70 milliwatts is a good amount of uh, heat and in the process this might get little bit of warm so we have to choose accordingly as to how to reduce this voltage drop across this transistor so that this operates cooler what you find here the scene is no different if even if it is bc547 because BC 547, 548, 549 all are of same rating. In the process what we find that the same function attains that uh, once the base current is reduced the relay drops and the light also goes off. Here we have taken the same arrangements the same you find a voltage drop of this nature which the heating of this transistor would definitely be there because it's a 70 milliwatts of wastage that we had seen. Now let's look at a situation we have taken a transistor BC548C they are available in 548A, B, C and if you look at the data sheets of these what we find that this has a higher gain so because it has a higher gain what we find that the current is 51 milliamperes here which is uh, because the voltage is drop across the transistor now is much less because with a little base current much lesser base current is able to saturate in the process it can switch on and what we find here in this case as compared to the other one what we had noticed in this case let us see the power loss and the power loss across the transistor is 0.35 is the voltage into the current into 51 milliamperes which is about 17 milliwatts as compared to 70 milliwatts what we notice here we get a much lesser power loss so the transistor operates much cooler the transistor sometimes also get much hotter once it doesn't operate in the switching mode let's see now what we do when we reduce this current substantially what we find the current is falling the relay is still holding because it is the holding current of the relay it's still holding but the voltage drop across this increases the same thing will happen even the 
Now in this case, if we reduce the base current, what we find the current falls and the voltage drop across this transistor goes up. Now if we reduce further, like for example, is a 47K, 15% is about maybe, or if we go down say about say 10%, about say 4.7k here or we find about 3 volts or roughly 3 volts dropped across this and the, that means the loss across this would be about 2.96 2.96 into 40 milliampers oh 118 milliwatts of power which is dissipated here that means the transistor will definitely get heated up and uh, it might even fail. So it's a the wise decision as to what is the current that you are going to flow here and the depending on the gain of the particular transistor and the load of course that you are using. This is very important for calculating the base resistor when you are trying to drive a relay in this fashion. We have the same arrangement here where we have a PNP transistor in place of an NPN transistor where we have the arrangements like this but make sure the relay is always connected in the collector side and not in the emitter side. Of course sometimes it is being followed but it is advisable that we follow always at the collector side. Same thing when we operate this the relay stops and the voltage drop across this and there is not a much of a change as compared to a PNP or an NPN. Now here is a situation where we have gate current to be measured also and we find gate current is zero is because this is a MOSFET and the MOSFET doesn't require a current it only requires a voltage at its gate to the source this is source this is drain and this is the gate it only requires a voltage in the process what we find that the current here is roughly about 50 milliampere with voltage drop across this what we find is very low is because it is defined by a factor called RDS on. RDS means resistance between the drain and the source. In the bipolar transistor we call it Vsat that is V saturation but in MOSFET we call it RDS on. So it's 1.2 ohms. This particular MOSFET which are taken has an RDS on of 1.2 ohms. That means the power loss here if we would like to calculate is 1 point is uh, the 0.6 volts here point 6 to into 49 or about say 50 or say okay 49.9 what we notice is that only about 30 milliwatts is wasted here as compared to the other ones what we find because so this has a higher RDS on we will look into such kind of MOSFETs which has got lower RDS on and we find how the losses across this particular active device is also reduced. Now look at this. We have an RDS on here is 0.4 ohms as compared to a higher RDS on in the earlier stage. It has an RDS on about 0.4 ohms. In the process what we find that the voltage drop across this at the same of roughly about the same current we find only 0 0.02 volts. Now if we look at this and we try to calculate the power loss here. 0 0.02 into 52 into 52 is equal to only 1 milliwatt and only 1 milliwatt power loss is here that means this operator is much cooler as compared to its counterpart of bipolar transistors whether it is PNP or NPN. So this is what we find the drastic difference between these and this also the same function. Look at the situation here. We have connected a voltmeter across the gate and want to see as to what is the function of the gate. It's a voltage. It's a voltage which is if the if I if I reduce the if I bring down the voltage then it goes to off situation we get the full voltage here. As we had seen in the current putting a current meter it doesn't draw any current. It's only initial stage it charges the capacitor which is there inside the gate and the switch on time otherwise this doesn't draw any current it only requires a voltage. Similar arrangement is the situation where if I reduce this voltage below its threshold voltage 
what we find this voltage steadily increases and even if I have applied certain voltage here at about two, less than 2 to 3 volts this goes almost into off situation where the full voltage is across here and then the current of course is dropping and it will develop a tremendous amount of heat because the current now the loss is now 10 volts into 0.15 amperes now if you would like to calculate this now 10 volts into 0.15 about uh, 10 into it's easy to calculate but still I wanted to show you into 0.15 is equal to 1.5 watts because this is amperes and this is volt 1.5 watts that means a tremendous amount of heat will be generated here if we operate it less than its threshold voltage and in fact the relay also has dropped because of this now if I increase this voltage to a voltage acceptable voltage as per the specification of this particular MOSFET is concerned we find it operates faithfully let's see the situation again we have again current measurement here and once we drop the current what we find if it is below certain current it doesn't work and that is why it has to be at a certain current level in the process it has to work it doesn't work what we find it doesn't work it's even if we are trying to feed because we have connected one resistor here in the process it doesn't work now it works some current is flowing but still it requires higher current and now only this starts working so this is how depending on the connections that you make here at the gate with the voltage after all is important here for this fun to function look at this situation here we have a coil resistance of 12 ohms only and even then we get about uh, 1.27 volts here and if we change it to 240 ohms then the losses will be very very low as we had seen in the past a relay driving can also be done by simple triple phi timer to which many of us are very familiar we connect it in this fashion both the threshold and the trigger pins and join together and uh, that forms the switching or the logic arrangement low or high that we have to give in the process the relay also switches on and we find also lesser voltage the advantage of using a triple phi timer is that it can draw 200 milliamperes per IC is because that are the technical feature of the triple phi timer you can see here the 50 milliampere current is flowing the current because the coil resistance is 100, 240 ohms whereas here we find coil resistance of 120 ohms the current is high and still it is working as for the need.